Hey everybody, uh, this is my first post commentary as far as this goes. I tried the audio, I don't know, I did something weird with the audio and for whatever reason it recorded at double, double the rate that it was supposed to and I, I assumed that there was going to be something that was just a, like a straight up like slow it down by half. But every time I did that, so it was at double speed, and it, uh, so I sounded like a chipmunk. And then when I played it at half speed, it just slowed down the chipmunk. It didn't actually do anything else. So, uh, once I got rid of the chipmunk the noise, then there was still, the uh, still like an echo, and I couldn't get rid of the echo after I pitch bend it back down to normal. So, Oh, baby, I love didn't want to deal with it. Instead, just doing this. Ratchet, there is a so, lift up. for some reason, my controller always fucks up. Like right in the beginning, like I start the game and do that, and, I, and every time I go into the little weapons thing, it just goes and just fucks up. So I don't know. So remember in in the last episode? I mentioned that I was going to trivia with some friends of mine. Um, something weird happened when I was there that uh, I was not expecting to have happen. I don't think anyone expects. Sometimes I, I feel like I should get a, a like a film crew and just have them follow me around because periodically weird shit just happens to me, and I just want to. Where the fuck am I going? Where am I going? Oh, I'm buying more ammo. I'm out of ammo, that's why. I've been trying to level up those the vipers so that they're stronger. So I bet you I went back to get that. I'm just firing at nothing. Oh I guess there's a guy there. Oh shit, I almost fell off. So uh, I'm sitting at the at the little booth that we're that we're sitting at for trivia. And hanging out with, I don't know, six or so. And a dude walks up to our group and just starts talking to one of the girls that's in our, uh, that's that's there at the table with me. And, and she, she knows him apparently and they're talking back and forth about whatever. And I, I look at this guy and I go, yeah, I don't, I don't know this guy so I'm not really going to pay attention. I'm just going to keep on going. Fuck, I can't really hit again. Um, so they, they're talking for a sec, and then finally he, he kind of looks around the circle of, of people that's there and goes, um, so do I know anyone else here in the group? And she goes, oh, no, you won't know anyone. This is These are people in my cohort, so you won't know anyone here. And and he looks around the table, and all of a sudden he goes, no, I, I know you. And he's, he's looking right at me. And I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, I know, I know you. I'm looking at this guy, and I kind of look again, and I'm watching, no, I... I I have no idea who this guy is. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I, I know you. And he's like, my name is, is whatever. And I was like, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't even remember what his name is. I was like, yeah, I don't, uh, I, I don't recognize that name. And he goes, you're, you're this guy, right? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, yeah, I know you. And I said, why do you know me? And he said, we have the same ex-girlfriend. Uh, oh. Um, okay. Why do, why, do, why do you know me? Why Why was she talking about me? Why do you recognize my face? Is the other thing. Um, I mean, wh what was I supposed to say? I, 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 I just went, okay. And I was like, uh, um, am, I, am I supposed to be like, yeah, dude. Bro fist. Chest bump. Let's do this. Let's be best friends. I mean, I, what, I, I, what was he, what was he looking for? Oh, I think, I think right here, what I'm doing is I'm, I, I know that as soon as I start hacking those orbs, that a bunch of guys are gonna show up. So I'm just like, yeah, why don't you go ahead, and set a bunch of bombs up so that the guy. Exactly. That worked pretty damn well. So I didn't know what to say to this guy. I, I was like, good for that. Or is it bad? Or 
I mean, what the, the, the fuck do you say to that? I don't know. I just, I just didn't know. Whoever said getting into that cathedral was easy? I did. Well, that was then. Surprised there was no voiceover here. It's just kind of like. Fight their way through a series of increasingly deadly arenas, but they didn't see that coming. It's just kind of like, well, just go. There's still no weapons there. It's not even a new planet. Why would there be new weapons? Quit fucking looking. Alright, so here's Showdown with Shell Shock. I, lo I love his, his cigar. If you look, he's, he's got a cigar in his mouth that's just like so perfectly Arnold. I just like it a lot. As you know, Shell Shock's brain was destroyed by a cruise missile in the Obani Moon War. His brain was later replaced with an AI chip taken from a coffee machine. As a result, he is totally impervious to pain. Watching this again, I just when, when I'm playing it, I don't I don't realize it as much. But now I'm re-watching it. It's horribly apparent that uh, they do a lot of jumping and shooting. It's like that uh, sequel I just made my next. Should have called it Jump a Shoot Man. Hey man, what you doing? Oh, I don't know. I'm just jump a shooting. What do you think about doing later? I don't know. I was thinking about jump a shoot. Team Dark and then walking to the, the right. Final stretch. This road leads right to the gates of the dark cathedral of Kronos, but it's chock full of twists, turns, and baddies that'll make your mother weep. Let's go to the action. Ratchet, you're gonna, you're gonna check it again. There's no, there's nothing. No new weapons. I suggest you oh my God. As an alternate way Quit in. checking. You check again. I swear to God. This is getting easy to kill. It's nice. Oh shit, they actually did level up. Check that out. Oh, I didn't know they were going to level up there. That's pretty cool. We're four now. I think the shotgun's like five. So I still got a ways to go to catch up, but, but pretty respectable. This I, I recognized. Uh, it's actually the same platform that I went from from earlier. And I think I think I just realized that right about here, and I go, wait a minute, there's a jackpot mod on the other side. So I walk over and I was like, yeah, it is the same one. So then I'm like, I'm gonna be a badass to get that jackpot Ooh. mod. Only remember this how I didn't get all of the money from it because you're on a rail. The same thing happens. I only get like 200 bolts from this or some something, something stupid. It's just like, yay, bolts, and then yeah, I, I, yeah, okay, I got 200, 200 bolts. Uh, that, that, that's the new device. I don't know if we... I forgot if we already did it or not. I've, I've actually, at this point, I've actually recorded all the way up to part 7. Uh, I just need to finish editing and, and upload them. So I don't remember if we've seen that device before. If we have not, that's the device I got from the tournament. It just puts a grind rail there. So I think it's kind of funny on, on multiplayer. Um, so one person has to shoot the grind rail, the other person grinds. Sometimes the grind rails are too long that it it, it makes it so that your distance is, is fucked up. And secondly, you could when you let go, it zooms you across. Like and then it's like a hook shot, kind of like The Legend of Zelda. And so you just kind of like fly at the little thing. But you can do it early, so you can set out the thing, and they can be grinding on it, and you can just fly out there. And then sometimes you can go faster than what they go. I could have hit that guy with a sniper rifle, and, and then I probably wouldn't have hit that. I'm just jumping like an idiot. Quit getting hit by shit! Why can't we kill anything? Oh my god, again? That's kind of painful to watch. When you're playing it, you're like, oh, whatever, it happens. Oh, I died. Shocker.
when I'm playing it, I don't realize how how often I fail because I'm busy like trying to stay alive. I guess. I'm gonna buy more ammo. Aren't I? Oh no, there's a ton of ammo boxes ahead. I wonder if I, I wonder if that exact thought went through my head. Like, I don't need to buy more ammo because there are a ton of ammo boxes ahead. Dropship. Jump in there for no reason. I'm good at this game. Looks like this is our only option. So at this point, I know that I don't need to go back because the jackpot mod is gone. So I'm just moving on. There's more jump and shooting to do. So, so, yeah, right there, like, I guess you won't be able to see it, but you can just let go and just zoom past. And then, uh, sometimes you can kill your partner and they love it. It's super funny. And then all the chicks like you for your cool funniness. Ah, oh, still got hit by that guy. Why are you going? Just move! Just move out of their distance! Just take like four steps forward. Let's see if I remember to use the sniper rifle to kill that guy. Nope. Nope. I get hit by that guy. Okay, that was almost a double fail. Look at that, didn't hit any of them that time. Did okay. And made it. Oh, I also got those little boots I got. I think I use them right here. I don't. Did I get, did I get the boots here, or do I get it after this mission? I get these little charger boots that are pretty sweet. It just makes it so you can move from point A to point B faster. It just, it's just like a little booster that moves you along. Darkstar has made it inside the dark cathedral of Kronos. It's cold, it's dank, it's scary, it's just like my ex-wife. Take a good long last look at Team Darkstar, folks, because Shellshock is about to plaster them all over these cathedral walls. Yeah, still no new weapons. Really? So this one you gotta fight Shellshock like four times, I think. And each time he's gonna come in, not from there. Turn around, turn around, turn around. There he goes, stupid. Did you know that Shell Shock was recently named the sexiest robot? And he, he comes in like that, like super slowly each time. And you look at like the huge chunks that the sniper rifle's taking out of his line. He does like the same moves from last time because last time they were so good and they were so useful. ton of ammo in life in each one of these sections. Oh, did you see the glob hole that landed on my bot? It's hilarious. I'm pretty sure I go back and I buy ammo. Because I wanted to be full on it, or I did. Why didn't I buy ammo? Oh, maybe I'm killing stuff in the room first and then buy ammo. No, I'm not. Just going for it. 
Maybe after this. At some point, I remember buying ammo because I was worried about getting too far away since the ammo thing is like right there. It's really easy to get to. Wow, we did jump super early on that one. It's hard to even see like which way he's looking. Like, is he is he a danger right now or not? There's, there's so many things. Going. Like all the ammo's laying on the ground now because I did that little bouncer thing. That's another mod. Again, I, God, I don't remember if I said that or not. Um, when you're shooting out all the little bouncy balls, that's a that's a mod that I get. It's called mini bomb mod. So instead of it's only on explosive things. So in like uh, the Arbiter, which oh shit, I don't have that one yet. This is really awkward for me doing this. <laughs> Um, would it be like the Hunter Mine Launcher? It's only on explosive ammo. Here I fuck up horribly. I just, yeah, just, it's, oh god. Uh, that, that was, you remember how I said it was twitchy though? That's, that's the, that's what I was talking about. I think it's just super, like after I, after I said, oh yeah, it's super twitchy. Then like it performed perfectly the next like ten times I tried to use it. <laughs> that was what, that was one of the, one of the twitchy moments. But yeah, so those little those little bombs that are bouncing around right now. I can get that on uh, another weapon. So instead of instead of the lava going around, it'd be the, the little bouncy balls. That used to be a weapon all in itself. Um, in Ratchet Three, which I think was up your arsenal. Yeah, going commando was two, so up your arsenal was three. Um, it was just called the bouncer, and it just shot a big, a big solid ball, and then that thing broke up into a bunch of tiny ones. Only it was much better because they, the, the tiny ones, uh, actually bounced toward bad guys instead of bouncing randomly. And this one they bounce randomly, so I'm not sure if it's actually better or not. Program. I'm impressed that he goes from almost dead to full life each time he's up there. He's He's got like a really impressive medic crew up there, and I'm pretty sure I, I almost run out of ammo in this fight. Yeah, so I'm out of two things. He's got a ton of life left. Yeah, so I'm yeah switch to the shotgun. Pretty sure I run out of shotgun shots. Hit twice, three times in a row. So yeah, totally out of ammo of a couple of things. Back to more shotgun. Oh, my bot saved me there. Valiantly. Yeah, three, two, one. Okay, there, there. I'm totally now. I'm totally out of ammo. Look, I'm out of ammo of everything except for my vipers. So look how much life he's got left. These things are doing like zero damage. And I'm just like, please, oh please, oh please, get hit by a bouncer. Fuck, and then made it. Oh, there, yeah, see, charge boots, there we go. Those are the things. I I don't remember if I use them in this episode or not, but... Look at those idiots cheering! Six million bolts of hardware down the drain, and those ingrates are celebrating like, like, like I won the freaking lottery! <sighs> Remind me why I put up with these morons. Who else would watch Vox News? Temptation, Asteroid, Galaxy's Funniest Decapitations. Yeah, yeah. Queer Eye for the Tyranoid. I get it. Seems I think that says something about our uh, lucky. TV no culture. Too slow and too stupid to be an exterminator. I'll talk Should after this. Retired years ago. Well, he's retired now. Ratchet, however. Huh. He just may be useful. He's even more popular than you were back in your heroic youth. Come to think of it, he even reminds me of you. I said he got lucky. His luck won't last forever. So I was saying, <clears throat> it's uh, it says something about our 
TV culture when like the references they made there are exactly the same. It's it still makes sense. It's still it's still relevant, even though that was six seven years ago. You know th those types of shows are the ones. Uh, here I'm bitching about how terrible this this night flight thing is. It it is awful, and I do it next. I do it next next one, and I bitch about it there. So I'll see you there.